So for me, you know, my cricketing journey started with a tennis ball. I was a shy kid, quiet kid, and you know, the only thing I was confident about was my cricketing skills. The way my journey started, and I used to play a lot of cricket, was with my friends who lived in my society. They are my childhood friends, and they are till date my friends. We are six people, and yeah, from that day, all of us wanted to be a cricketer. I lost my father when I was a kid, so we were very close units. So I've got my sister and my mother, so obviously I'm very close to all of them. And whenever things go well, don't go well, we keep an atmosphere at the home that everything is similar. We just we're just happy, we're just grateful of whatever I've got as a cricketer. My mother, she's done a lot for me. Uh, she's a school principal. She just retired, so she's she's done a lot of a lot of hard work for us. So you don't need to go anywhere for inspiration. The inspiration is just at home. The day you feel satisfied is the day your progress stops. So I always still feel that there's still a long way to go. Some some occasions I, I can be too hard on myself that I've set a standard that I want to accomplish that. But to keep things simple and to get a proper feedback, you analyze everything and then everything is sorted. I don't take the fame and adulation too hard because I know it's not permanent. Today it's there, tomorrow it's not. If you run behind success, success doesn't come up to you. If you run behind money, money will not come. So if you run behind excellence, everything else will automatically follow. All those philosophies, I also can relate to it. I also focus on all similar things that I want to be, I want to do all the processes right. If I do everything right, everything else will follow.